Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyua mahabba A question was asked I came across a statement of Fudail ibn Iyad Rahimahullah ta'ala which is giving up a good deed for the sake of people is also showing off and doing it for the sake of people is shirk However, I don't understand the second part of it where he says, and doing it, a good deed for the sake of people, is shirk. Because isn't that riya? For example, if a person makes dua just because he wants to show off to someone watching him. So technically, he has done this dua for the sake of another person. And that usually that's usually classified as riya. However, Fudayl ibn Iyad calls it shirk. Does he mean major shirk or minor shirk? And is there an explanation you can give or send to me regarding the statement and the two types of shirk he mentions? And why does he differentiate differentiate uh, between riya and shirk, even though the second part seems like riya also? Like, for example, if a person gives sadaqah in the masjid and he does it for the sake of the people, has he fallen into riya or major shirk? I always thought it would be riya, but now the statement has me confused. First of all, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with those things which please him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless the questioner uh, for such an excellent question and showing their desire uh, to gain ilm al nafi And may Allah bless us all with ilm al nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al mutaqabbilin. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. So, first and foremost, <clears throat> the statement of Fudayl ibn Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, giving up a good deed for the sake of people is also showing off, and doing it for the sake of people is shirk. So here, it appears that, and again, first and foremost, if we had the Arabic text, it would give us a, a bit of a better understanding in case he used the term Arya by showing off, did he say Arya? And then he mentioned doing it for the sake of people is shirk. So if we had the statement in its source, it would give us a better uh, indication of what he uh, he meant here, what the maqsud. But from what we know from the nasus, from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een we know that uh, the scholars of Islam distinguish between major shirk and minor shirk Shirk al-Akbar was Shirk al-Askar and Shirk al-Akbar meaning some of those, act those, those actions and statements and uh, creed that takes you out of the fold of Islam that the person who does this has violated and negated their Islam. The minor shirk, meaning those things, which generally one of the dawabit or criterion is that they are a wasila or a means to the major shirk. They are a wasila to the major shirk. So they are not major shirk. They don't take you out of the fold of Islam, but they uh, are major sins. But in this statement, giving up a good deed for the sake of uh, of people is also showing off. So again, we don't know if he said Riyah, and I'm imagining that uh, I, I'm, I, I'm believing or inclined to believe that he is uh, that he mentioned the actual term Riyah. And so a Riyah, as the Prophet وسلم, said, Akhwafa ma akhafu alaykum a shirk al askar. Fusu'il anhu faqal a Riyah. The thing in which I fear the most for you is the minor shirk. And then he was asked about it and he said, Ar-Riyah. So the Prophet wasallam that lets us know that shirk has different levels. And it lets us know that Riyah is from the minor shirk in its origin. And there are so many benefits, of course, but this is not the time and place to really get into that hadith. But it shows us also that there are that sins have gradations as well. Sin and as as well as shirk, of course. And kufr, minor kufr, major kufr. 
uh, minor oppression, major oppression, uh, minor fisk, major fisk, as well as uh, the other types um, uh, that there are many categories, categorizations that the ulama have discerned from the nasus, from the text of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So going back to this hadith, giving up a good deed for the sake of the people is also showing off. It is riya. Okay? So when you give up something for Allah's sake, I, I'm sorry, for the people's sake, is showing off. So for example, the person who says, you know, this is a good relevant for a student of knowledge or something, and the shaitan always whispers, to people who involved in dawah, you know, really, I've got enough sins myself, enough problems myself, I think I'm going to stop making dawah. Or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, but that a person, that that's a shubahat that might come to them. And they may act upon it, they might say like, you know, I don't want to fall into shirk, I don't want to fall into fall, uh, to, to showing off. I'm going to, you know give up making dawah because, you know, perhaps they might even do it in order so that the people think, even praise them for that. Meaning that their people were criticizing them and then they say, you know what, I'm going to give up dawah and then maybe this will redeem myself in their eyes. So this is, this can be a type of riyah, a type of showing off, okay? Or giving up, you know, there's, or even giving up a sin, Okay, uh, for the sake of the people, you know, in the eyes of the people, in front of the people. Right. And doing it for the sake of people is shirk. So forgive me for my language there. I might have gone your book. But anyhow, to distinguish these two ibarat, these two statements. First, first, he said, giving up a deed for the sake of people is also showing off. And doing it for the sake of people is shirk. The scholars mention about riya that riya is not just is not always going to be the minor shirk. So this may be new for some people. That riya can sometimes take you out of the fold of Islam. Because riya itself although the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam described it in that hadith he said wasu'ila anhu fu riya. He he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that was riya and in another hadith uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, said in the hadith of Mahmud ibn uh, Labid radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam inna akhwafa ma akhafu alaykum ashirk al-askar al-riya so it's the same uh, it's a different alfaz but it's same this was akhrajuhu Ahmed uh, with a uh, sound uh, 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 you know Hassan uh, as a Hassan narration. طيب. So, the Prophet ﷺ described or defined that riya in its asl, that it's from the minor shirk, that it was a type of the minor shirk. And the riya, it comes from doing something to show off, meaning in the eyes of the people. Ra'a, yura, o. You know, this, this is the, the verbal. Forms ra'a is in the is a fi'l madi, mabni al fat. You know, it's a a a a uh, a simple past verb, which means he saw. It's in the simple past. He saw ra'a ra'a rajalin fulana. The man he saw. So and so. Okay, the man he saw so and so. This is in Mahdi. This is in the past. This is a simple past. Right. And Riya, it comes from that verb. It comes from that verb. So it means that this is a shirk which has to do with showing off. Meaning, show when you show something, it means you see it. So this is not the 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 shirk of being wanting to be heard by the of from the, by the people, but this is rather you go in the masjid maybe and you begin to perfect your salat because people are looking at you, and that is the reason you're perfecting your salat. Right. Riyah can become major shirk. Let's give an example here. 
if you go to the masjid strictly with the intent not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just to show off in front of the people. You don't want the people to think you're a hypocrite and you're really, your heart is not at all with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Although this is a type of riyah, you are khalis. You are pure, purely doing this act of ibadah for the people. So this perhaps can be an example of where riyah becomes the major shirk. Because there's no, it's not you're fighting and, and not like you went to the masjid, you began to pray, and then you noticed some youngsters were looking at you and you kind of buffed up the chest a little bit and you made the arms a little bit or you made the tekbir so perfect because you wanted the people to see you. Then that that's going to be the minor shirk, that's the riyah. So the way we understand this athar, bi'idnillah, is doing it for the sake of the people is shirk, Meaning that doing something purely for the sake of the people, this is shirk. If you do an act of ibadah strictly for someone else, khalasin, laysa khalasin lillah, khalasin nas, strictly for the people, isn't that the, 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 isn't that the major shirk? So this is how, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, we understand this athar, and I hope that that, uh, clarifies uh, what we are talking about because so again letting us know that riyah itself can also turn into the major shirk and as we mentioned prior to this is that one of the 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 wabit of minor shirk is that it's a wasila ila shirk al akbar that one of the criterion for minor shirk is that it's a means to the major shirk. So meaning that since it's a means, that means you may have started in a certain way where it was minor shirk and it can actually lead you to major shirk. It can actually be that means. Ben Othimin mentions a nice faida about this uh, issue in Riyadh. He mentions that, that for example, a uh, 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 tama. Uh, 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 you know, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned first and foremost that uh, uh, in an authentic hadith in which he said that whoever uh, uses uh, tamima, you know, that the, 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 um, the amulet, that this is a, uh, that this is a type of shirk. You know, that this is, that he will not, you know, it's not going to benefit him, okay? And it's a type of, of shirk. And Ben Athanimin, he mentions that, so this Tama'im, the, using the amulet, we have a nus, we have a text that shows that this is a sinful and impermissible in a type of shirk, the minor shirk. And that if you go to believing in that Tama'im, that it can get rid of uh, harm, protect you from harm, and bring about good, then this can be an actual a violation of the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, so then it can transform. You see that it's a wasila to the major shirk. So I hope that was clear. It's a, it's a means to the major shirk. So it can actually evolve into where a person totally, you have so many people who, unfortunately, in the Muslim world who take amulets and some of them, they firmly believe maybe they won't take it off. They'll shower with it. We don't, you know, all kind of strange practices that people do with amulets, which are not far-fetched. And people really do some of these things and in which they've taken those things to be, uh, uh, you know, the major shirk, where they may have started out as minor shirk, okay? Or it's asl, its origin could be minor shirk, but it just depends on the ittiqad of the person you know, to where it becomes major. And so this is how we understand the concept of riyah, that it can be uh, from the minor shirk in its origin, but that a person can, you know, have so much riyah, as Ibn al-Qayyum mentions, that it can negate all of their deeds, you know, because they have so much riyah in all of their actions. Or that it can be that the riyah can wassel 
in, to the extent of where you're doing deeds totally for the people. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.